So remember, in each case, we teach concept to pronounce. We use pictures to cue the word rather than English words. We don't want them relying on translation in the beginning, although they can use it a little bit. So if I say six, the student has to say... Shesh. But more important is to be able to see three plus three and say... Shesh. Okay. Now, from here, we take it to the next step, which is called a glyph. Glyph meaning basically a pictorial representation that's going to be a cue for the word. How is it a cue for the word? Because it is a cue for the concept. So here is our flashcard for the glyph for the Hebrew word for six. This is a pictorial cue for them, the students, to say the concept in Hebrew. So if they see this card, they react by saying, Shesh. Okay. Next step is to learn the Hebrew spelling as a sight word. In other words, they learn to recognize the word as it's spelled. Now here you're going to get a surprise if you don't know Hebrew, that the Hebrew word happens to look like the glyph. That's not a surprise because the glyph was designed to look like the Hebrew word. It's a visual pun. So that's why for the glyph I chose 3 plus 3 rather than 4 plus 2 or 5 plus 1. The glyph is designed to look like the word. It makes a bridge into the Hebrew spelling as a sight word. They will recognize this sight word as a whole not spelling it out. In fact, when they first see it, they don't know that these letters are letters. Now, you may be guessing, even if you didn't know, that this three-pronged letter is actually representing the sound sh. It's a Hebrew letter. I'm not going to tell you the name because we don't teach letter names in the very beginning. We want them to learn letters in the context of whole words. So what, how are they going to learn letters? Later they will learn, well, pretty quickly because it's obvious already, they are going to learn the letter sh, the letter pronounced sh, which they can call the shush letter, actually, in the context of this whole sight word. They don't need a lot of sight words to learn the whole alphabet. Uh, 20 or so sight words will give the whole Hebrew alphabet with lots of examples of letters and vowels.